Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a zodiac energy reading for you for the week of August 1st. So if you like this reading, Aquarius, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. If you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. Just send me an email. I can let you know how that works. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. How is Aquarius doing? Give you a Moon Oracle Tarot card. Luck is on your side. It's time to take action and surrender to the divine. So we've got the new moon in Aries, the new moon in Sagittarius, and the full moon. Look at the opposites of those coming in together. So you've got very, very watery and then very fiery. Opposites coming in. A time to give rather than take on the bottom of the deck. Let's see what kind of spirit animal is sitting with Aquarius that that wanted to come out. Flying with some radar there. Animal spirit card for Aquarius. <laughs> the animals don't want to speak today, Aquarius. Do one more and then we will pull. So yeah, I see that sonar, I see that radar around you, that uh, receiving of the, of the information, really, of the vibration. You're receiving these um, uh, radar tones. You're almost following your own radar here. Look at that with the swan. There is Gemini energy on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, there's that push me, pull me energy. There's that. Um, flying by radar, swimming by radar, emitting radar, emitting pulses. What are you emitting here? What is going on with Aquarius? Aquarius. Let's take this one. Two of Earth, two of Pentacles. You've been juggling. You've been juggling some finances, juggling time juggling responsibilities, messenger of fire on the bottom of the deck, messages coming in for Aquarius, messages, oh look at this, more juggling, two of pentacles, that's what's on your mind is juggling, you're really juggling, you're juggling responsibilities, you're juggling people, you're juggling money, just really, really juggling, but you are feeling like you've accomplished something, you really feel like you've reached a goal here that you've done something and you should be proud of that because it was an end of a cycle for you, a beginning of a new cycle. You were juggling things in that transition of that cycle, but now you're feeling like you have a grip on it, like you really um, are on the other end of this and that you're coming into this new light, this new cycle here, and you are. Eight of Swords, you're ending. There's that uh, mirror image again, that, that Gemini energy where you had yourself all tied up in your head. You really didn't know how you were going to work this out. You really didn't know where what you were going to do. But you did it. You really accomplished some things. You at least took baby steps to get towards your goal, and you're really proud of yourself for that. So you should be. You should be really happy with what you've accomplished here. You've done something. You've accomplished something. So be really proud of yourself. So the High Priestess wanted to jump in. Four of Swords, so more sword cards. This is the rest after the battle. So you really have to rest now. You have to take care of this heart of yours. And um, understand that you've battled. You've been through something. So take care of yourself, Aquarius. Just really pamper yourself. Look at this. The Five of Pentacles coming into the heart space. You're still feeling a little isolated, a little lonely. It feels like you don't have a whole big support system around you. But you have enough to keep you going and to celebrate your accomplishments here. But yeah, you have been um, really isolated. You've been thinking, you've been feeling, you've been really feeling like you're left out, like you're left out of something. There's the end of that cycle, beginning of the new cycle with the world coming in right underneath the Six of Wands. You're going to be victorious a lot more in this new cycle. You're going to feel a sense of accomplishment, a sense of, I did it, I did it. And you should be really celebrating yourself here. What else in the heart space for Aquarius? Three of 
three of pentacles teamwork now reciprocity working together no more of this isolation and doing everything on your own carrying all the burdens on your back now it's time for people to step in and really help Aquarius and reach their hand out and soothe and congratulate and really uh, cheer for your accomplishments here. That's beautiful. Aquarius. Six of Swords moving on from troubled waters. You're getting a lot of sword cards here, which uh, makes sense. You're a sword sign, you're an air sign, so that makes sense. But you're really moving on here. You're moving on from the troubled waters. You're moving on from the feeling of I'm all alone here. I, I, I have to do this on my own because I'm all alone. You're moving on from that and coming into some more teamwork, some more uh, support. You're coming into your own little tribe here, your own community, and you're feeling like you have your place in it. You're not feeling left out. That could be at the workplace, too, where you're really feeling a part of this team. Oh, my God, look at this. You really are ending out a cycle, beginning a new one with the world and the wheel. So your luck is really changing here, Aquarius. You're rising above. You are really finishing something out and congratulate yourself for that. Really understand what you've been through here because it has not been easy. It, the way has been very cloudy, very dark. You had to really merge the positive and the negative energies here to find a way forward out of this darkness, out of this loneliness. And boy, you did it. You really did it. So you should really be feeling much freer now of those burdens. And if you're not feeling freer yet, you certainly will be. Knight of Cups comes in to say that this is um, waiting for you. There are messages of love, messages of support, messages of reprieve here. Let's go away. Let's get out of here. Let's take a break from here. Friendships coming in to really help you out here and to help you to move on from this feeling of isolation and loneliness. So you are really absolutely ending out a cycle. Look at the mirrors here. It's like you're seeing yourself so differently now. Everything has changed for you. Like when you look in the mirror, you're not even seeing the old you anymore because of the transformations you've gone through. And people are recognizing that. People are really seeing you rising above here and they want to come with you. They really do. They want out of this darkness as well. So you're going to be receiving messages of support, messages of uh, congratulations, messages of you did it, and let's go celebrate. King of Pentacles comes in to finish off the Lightseer's Tarot. I love this. You are finding a sense of stability, a sense of security. It's like nothing's going to knock me off there again. I'm not going back to those troubled waters ever again. So you, now you're looking at everything differently. You really have a new eye on what's happened here. You have a new perspective. That's what you've gained here. And that's going to change everything for you because of these cycles ending and beginning. You are truly ending something out here and beginning something new. So don't get too lost in the transition here between being alone and having this big support group. Don't let that scare you because it's different and uncomfortable. Just really enjoy it and <clears throat> laugh a lot more, celebrate a lot more really grasp the joy in every single day here because you really deserve it. You've been through something. You've broken down traditional beliefs and values here with the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. You walked away from uh, the way it was supposed to be, the way it should have been. You had this clear, clear idea. I know we've, we've gone over this before in some of your readings, but you had this real clear idea of where you were going, what it was going to be like when you got there. And everything changed. It was, it's like you have this whole different life now with these cards on the bottom of the deck here. But the Hierophant says it all. You're reaching for that higher light. You're reaching for your inner happiness here. You're reaching for your joy, your well-being, your uh, happiness here. And that's so important for you to do because you're going to carry this with you the rest of your life. It's not going to be a fleeting feeling for you. It's going to really carry with you. And you did this. You did this hard work. You rose above the drama. You rose above the chaos. And you settled yourself. You really did to find this higher vibration, to find this new perspective, how you're seeing everything differently, walking away from all that sorrow, walking away from all that stress. So that is just absolutely beautiful. I love this reading for you, Aquarius. This is a new beginning for you, no doubt about it. Brand new. Let's see what you've been juggling. What is this Two of Pentacles, this Two of Earth? Page of Swords, people watching you, people keeping tabs on you, people telling you the way they would do it, the way they would get out of this mess, the way they would handle this. It's like you have all of these uh, 
higher ups, these these uh, people who think they know better. It feels like uh, like power figures, like authority figures, telling you the right way to go, the right way thing to do, and they're watching your every move here to see if you're doing it right, if you're juggling right. Take a break from that. That's that's your business. That's what you're doing. That's how you're healing and you're doing it right. So just take all of this advice with a grain of salt. Ace of Swords right on top of the Six of Wands there. This is a new beginning in communication for you as well. You're finding these words you didn't even know you had. You're finding these uh, resolutions you didn't even know were with, within you. And you're finding happiness in ways you never thought you would find. So you're starting to see this other side of the sadness, this other side of the darkness here. And you're seeing these, these sparks of light, these images of what could be now, you know, these new beginnings. And it kind of excites you. It's like you're, you're getting ready for this trip or you're getting ready for this uh, adventure. You're really planning an adventure here. And I love that. Swords. Let's see what that's all about. The Four of Cups again shows up. I saw the Four of Cups in here, but you've been holding on very, very tightly, afraid to lose what you've gained, what you've worked so hard for. So, which is okay because God is here giving you this gift, giving you this gift of a cup, a brand new full cup when you've been staring at these three cups and you thought that was all there is. I should just get up. I should go home. I've worked my whole life for these three cups. There's always only going to be three cups. And then bam, here comes spirit with that fourth cup surprising you right next to the four of swords. So there's something good coming in for you, something that's going to really make you happy. A, a, a memo, a voicemail, a text message, an invite, something like this is going to really make you feel much, much better. Three of pentacles again on top of the four of swords. So you're healing your heart with teamwork and um, camaraderie and friendships and um really relying on your friendship group to help you through this, your co-workers even, to help you through this. Not that you've revealed everything. You are Aquarius after all. <laughs> Got to keep some of those private moments private. But <laughs> you are counting on others for help and support. And that's just so lovely to see because you don't have to do this on your own, Aquarius. This, this life is meant for us to share experiences and to help elevate each other and uplift each other. So you're realizing that now. Four of Swords on top of uh, the Five of Pentacles also following the Four of Swords. So you really are resting. You're really resting this wounded heart of yours after this battle. You have been through an absolute battle. Ten of Cups on top of the world. I can't tell you how happy this makes me because happiness is yours, Aquarius. This new cycle is going to bring in more joy, more happiness than you could have ever possibly imagined. You're going to really start walking away from the grief of the past. You're going to really start walking away from the sorrow here. And you're going to start enjoying your life with friends. Look at the Three of Cups on top of the Three of Pentacles. You're realizing who is going to bring you laughter, who is going to bring you joy. If they've got sorrows and woes, you're not cutting them out of your life, but you're simply walking away. You're moving on. You're taking that water Uber out of there and you're finding some joy and some happiness in life again. You are really looking for those golden nuggets of life and and wonder and awe and uh, what next, what next. You know, you're almost excited to see what's next. Lots of incoming messages, lots of invites, lots of uh, travel still in your cards here, Aquarius. There's some big travel coming for you, but there are some words, there was some harsh words back and forth that really kind of helped you be in this isolation place, helped you keep everything so private because you didn't know how to process those emotions, those feelings. But you're really transforming that and coming out of that. It's like, you know what, they were only words. It, before you just felt like words were so crucial, words mattered so much, and now you're coming into this new cycle and you're like, you know what, it's only words. Can't hurt me, nothing can hurt me that I don't allow to hurt me. So you're really coming into this understanding of words and what they mean and um, how you can protect yourself from words that have hurt in the past, you know, just these moments of, of hurt that you can really process now and say, you know what, it's just words, it's just words. I can absolutely let that go from my memory. I can walk away from those words, cut those energetic bonds and walk freely into my happiness, into my joy that I deserve so much. Queen of Pentacles on top of the wheel. This is you finding abundance, you finding peace and joy and 
harmony within your life you're connecting with nature again you're connecting with water again and the animals again it's like you were so caught up in this drama and the stress of what was happening in your life from the others they were throwing all of these obstacles in your way from your happiness and now you're sitting with your joy and your happiness and your well-being and nothing can take it from you again it's like you really know how to hold on to it now and not let others grab that grab that from you so that's very, very uh, beautiful energy coming into you. Page of Cups, more messages of love coming into Aquarius. There are people watching you. There are people really enjoying watching you. It's not this stalker, scary feel to it, but it's this enamored. They, they put you up on a pedestal here. They have uh, real respect for you, real respect for you, a deep respect that maybe um, they don't even understand, but they've seen the things you've gone through. They see, they've seen how you've handled it, how you've never lost your cool, how you've kept it all together. And they're really, um, in awe of you. Two of Pentacles, look at this juggling. You have really been juggling a lot. I see a lot of mirrors and a lot of Two of Pentacles. So juggling, you've been juggling uh, uh, so many things in your life that that's why you're starting to feel a little more settled with the Hierophant. You're starting to feel like you're putting some of those uh, some of those responsibilities down. You don't have to juggle everything. You don't have to take care of everything anymore. It seems like there's people around you that are picking up some of the slack while you get to rest <laughs> and plan. Look at this. You're planning for your future. You're planning for that bright day, that that joy that is ahead for you. This is brand new for you. This is a whole new you, a whole new day, a whole new cycle. I can absolutely promise you this is a new cycle for you with the world and the wheel in the um, on the board here. Major, major cycle coming to an end and beginning anew for Aquarius. So I love this. Aquarius, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. If you'd like a personal reading from me, I will leave my email address in the description box below. Just send me an email. Luck really is on your side, Aquarius. So if you're feeling like you're going to enter something, raffles or, or lotteries or something like this, it's a really good time to do that the week of August 1st. And new beginnings in inspiration, new inspired actions, new inspired uh, ideas coming in for you too as well. So I love this. I really do love this. If you like this reading, let me know. Leave me a comment in the, in the uh, comment box. I want to know if this resonates with you. But thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I will tune in with you soon.